Hey there viewers, welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. We're going on to 2012. It's the Toyota, it's the Tacoma, it's the big 4.0, and it's a low mileage, like a 25K or so on this thing. Money lights in it. So I'll be honest with you folks, it did not take long to narrow this one down. I had to, I had to over in the other bay originally, moved it over here. Uh, seriously long extended crank when I went to bring it in. Uh, so initially I assumed cam crank sensor code, something like that, probably cam sensor, and sure enough it was. Let me get the code list for you. Got your classic PO340, cam sensor circuit, 343, uh, cam sensor high input bank one, and then a P1604 startability fault, uh, because you gotta crank the snot of this thing to get it going. So those are the current pending and history codes uh, that we have. And I'll show you what I've seen right off. I popped the lid off to get a look at the cam sensor and the problem's obvious. That right there is your problem, lady. Uh, a mouse got in here, and that's what I saw initially when I popped the plastic uh, lid off. I looked down in here, seen the mouse nest. I seen some more wiring there chewed up. Uh, you can see the wire back on that fuel injector is chewed up. Uh, no codes for those. Uh, looks like the EVAP hose, well it's not an EVAP hose, I guess it's a hose that runs to uh, that intake manifold tuning valve is MIA, so I ate out a whole section of that. And I don't know what else. So we need to remove the intake uh, to find out how much death, darkness, and destruction there is under there. I went to pull this little guy off. I think it's going to be kind of comical. I haven't gone all the way. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's full of walnuts. So we're going to have to uh, bring you along and have a look at that. Ultimately, what we need to do is tear this all apart so we can find out how many parts and pieces we need to order from Toyota to get this thing back together. A uh, lady brought it in for inspection and the engine light. But here we are. This is as far as we made it. Like I say, we can see what's uh, chewed up a little bit here, but let me pull this off. Oh yeah. I think she's tight like a tiger. <laughs> let me move you. Nobody likes missing the money shot. Must be the lady's got a walnut tree. Oh, look at that. I think they're starting to germinate even. Oh, there goes some. So yeah, they are, look at that. They've been in there so long, they're starting to grow a tree. So we can go plant that somewhere if you want. Uh, a lot of them are germinating, so that's good. Gotcha. I think these are black walnut. And they are starting to germinate. Let's, uh, it's packed full to the roof. Let's get this little guy out here. Oops. Sounds like a little thing of marbles. Well, they're all out now. Woo! Smells musty. Gonna need the classic air filter. Uh, here's your nuts. <laughs> lots and lots of nuts. <laughs> so I'm thinking we're gonna have to take this tube out here. To do that, we gotta pull the uh, air pump to get to the nuts or the bolts that hold that on. And then we'll fish out all of the walnuts in the tube. I imagine the inner fender is probably filled up or, so, or has at least uh, several of them in there. And then we'll go underneath, make sure we knock them all off the frame. Uh, kind of a neat story one time, I had a lady, when I worked at my dad's shop, one of these got wedged up, uh, it was a, a 3.1 or 3.4 GM. The intake sat really tight next to the throttle control uh, cam there. And every time she stepped on the throttle, it would cam and then the walnut would drop down in there further and eventually it pegged the throttle wide open on her. And <laughs> I remember watching, she was out at the stop sign from my dad's shop and the car's just redlined, you know. She was smart enough to put the thing in park, but she wasn't smart enough to just shut it off. So as she come running to my dad's shop, the car's out there just bouncing off the rev limiter. <laughs> she didn't know what to do. She panicked, so she ran. <laughs> that was kind of a fun day. Um, there's that, so let's get this little guy off here. I suppose my idea of a fun day And that lady's idea of a fun day were probably two different things that day. I thought it was pretty funny. So 
we had to take this air pump loose because there's one bolt that holds this thing on it we couldn't get to. Now we need a 12 mil. How many are living in here? Oh, she's full. Oh, got some insulation. Better not be a freaking mouse. I think this is more like a squirrel. This is a big old sucker. She's full. Let's go this way. Doing good so far. As far as the uh, fender down here, I'm thinking that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pull the fender liner out because what's up, Mister Doe? Uh, Look at this, huh? Hmm. Oh, what's this? Let's see what we got here. Dun, 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 dun. It's the hanky. Mm -hmm. And uh, see how many walnuts we got so far? That's just ones we ain't dropped on the floor yet. Wow, that is so crazy. And you thought you had mouse problems. <laughs> well, looks like it's probably gonna be packed pretty tight in here. It's gonna be my guess. I'm gonna work on getting some of these fasteners loose. I don't think we have to take it down all the way, but we need to take it down enough to Get most of the junk out of there. Not familiar with these connectors here, but I'll work on this and see if we can't just, like I say, at least lower it down, flip it down, and get it out of there. Successful. I can't get those suckers released, so we'll just get a couple new ones. The heads are just going to break on them, and I don't want to ruin the plastic tabs here. Let's just take it. more nuts. Looks like the damage ends right there. Cover your eyes and your ears, folks. I don't see anything with fur and legs coming out yet. Well, there's that. That's fun. I don't I don't think it's packed in back up in there. No, it's not. She's clean and green. We got that. I think that's about it. Man, this mouse had like a cast. You're all out there the other day saying, oh, I got all these mouse problems. Look at this lady. <laughs> this I, I don't have a mouse problem because I had mouse traps. Oh. oh, you got a little fella, right? Let's see him. You got a picture of him? It's not in my pocket. This is all, uh, if you guys, you guys, wow, we're dark. You guys have probably seen the video. Darkness. The darkness. <laughs> this is all has the video there we did um, where she had the, little mouse invasion in her car overnight. Boom! She scored. She got the little guy. Uh, left her mouse traps out there and finally caught him. Some mice are wicked destructive here in the PR of NY. But I don't think this is a mouse. This is probably a red squirrel would be my guess. I don't think a mouse is going to carry up all of those walnuts. It may have been a mouse under the hood that ate the wires uh, who may have been benefiting from the uh, cache of the red squirrel 
is my guess. Why do you think it ate the wires when it had all these nuts? I don't know. <laughs> makes me how yummy. It makes me wonder how yummy the wires are in comparison. So I don't know. Or maybe the mouse is in there. It's like, oh my God, these lonely old wires to eat. And then the red squirrel's like, boom. And the mouse is like, yeah, it <laughs> gave up on the wires. Hopefully, because this is a lot easier to fix this than it is wire damage. So you think it's not just a castle, it's also a frat house? I'm thinking, that's <laughs> what it looks like to me. Because he's got quite the pile down there. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's a pretty good pile. That guy was living okay. He, he was doing okay. <laughs> he had a blanket, yeah, insulation. <laughs> comfy bed and like the food for... Food. Um, Oh. Probably several months worth of food. He didn't even start to eat most of it, just yeah, a little bit of yeah. it. Yeah. These are hoarders. Yeah. These are like this is the, the hoarding hoarders. animal. I think that's what all squirrels do. It's that's just hoard and hoard and hoard. Wow. Yeah, the little red squirrels can be super destructive, especially if they get in your house, like in the attic. That can be an absolute disaster. Um. That's interesting. It's got one gold pin. Uh, so this is a mass airflow sensor. We need to take this little fella off and see what kind of destruction we have over here. This is all. Ah. I was going to ask you earlier mm -hmm. to marry me again. <laughs> and beyond that, I was going to ask you, uh, does, this, does it smell like mouse? I don't smell any You don't mouse. smell mouse? I can't smell mice. It's one of the few things I cannot smell since the raw is mice and fluid film. It's the other thing I cannot smell. Gas? Can you smell gas? I can smell gas again. I can smell everything else. I don't think to the full ability of what well, I used to be able to smell, but how do you know? Unless you have your full ability back. You know, you think smelling the same thing for 42 years, I'd be like, hey, I can't smell bologna or whatever, you know. <laughs> but I can't smell mouse stuff anymore, which is weird. I gotta and get to the bottom of this thing. Got a vacuum hose back there. What's up? And you don't smell the same things the same the way. The same way, I know. It's <laughs> weird. And I don't like asparagus anymore, which really kind of upsets me. It's one of my favorite vegetables. And I just don't like it. It tastes so bitter to me now. I can't eat it. Let's see. I've got a vacuum hose here on the back of the air filter. Got that bowl. And we got to flip it over because we can't get to the uh, little thing that holds the mass airflow sensor on. There's a little clip. I guess we could just bust it off, but what some people might do, but I'm gonna see if I can't disengage the claw and get that harness unhooked. Do this out of here. Unfortunately, he didn't eat the carbon filter here, which is good. Because then you gotta buy this whole stinking thing. That's that's all emission stuff, you know, it keeps the hydrocarbons from infiltrating the atmosphere and killing uh, polar bears, I guess. Let's see, here's our original problem lady right here. So this is the three wires for the cam sensor. I just kind of want to fold them out of the way. I don't want to short out the 5 volt ref. I don't know, these might be 12 volt, I don't know. But either way, we just kind of fold them around. Hopefully we can reuse the connector. Famous last words, fella. <laughs> These are used for doing uh, surgery, you know, in case you gotta pull out a gallbladder or something. Let's see if we can't get a hold of this little fella. I dropped down in there ever so gingerly. <laughs> She's about ready to go in no man's land here, so we have to be very careful. Like a surgeon. Boom, there it is. I was gonna say, hopefully, we can reuse this because we can buy the terminals providing. I can figure out how to get them unhooked. That's a tiny little connector. So we'll take a picture of this with our cell phone so we know who goes where. And I'll see if I can get them unhooked and then we'll order just the uh, wires from Toyota. Uh, they don't make, uh, from Toyota, they don't make a, uh, how do you say, a pigtail, you know, already pre-done. You can buy the connector, you can buy the housing, buy everything separate, that's, that's the thing about Toyota. We can see the other harness here that's chewed up. I don't think they got any wires, which is good. Just the uh, poly loom. And at least one injector wire there is chewed up. I don't think any of the other ones are. Hallelujah. 
So we'll take the upper intake manifold off here, the plenum. I'll peel that out of the way. Just a bunch of brackets and hoses, it looks like, and some bolts in the middle. And then we'll vacuum all this stuff out. Assess the damage, order the parts. And then we'll have to run it through a drive cycle. Oh, okay, so that hose on the back of the air cleaner went to the fuel pressure regulator. This hose we need to get. That is the vacuum supply hose for the tuning valve or intake runner control valve. I don't know what Toyota calls it. No, it's all the same function. Swirl control valve. Sometimes they're called a bunch of different things. I don't see anything else. I think today is going to be okay, folks. Okay. I'm going to do this without uh, recording it. It's not a big to-do. Bracket here, bracket there, hoses and bolts. Journey's on the radio right now. I need to crank it up, have a long music marathon, and just rip and tear. Let's see what we have here. I think we've got everything unhooked. We don't. We gotta unhook the water lines from the throttle body and or leave the throttle body laying there, which I think that's the way we're gonna go. We don't have to unhook any coolant. I'll buzz these out. Forgot about that. So we're just gonna leave the throttle body hanging. By the hoses. There. There's that. I think we've got everything else. Famous last words. Let's go in for the money shot here. Shift this off to the side. I'm thinking minimal destruction under here, but we still needed to get to this one injector harness. Um, so let's set this to the side. Thinking not a big deal here. I think it was happier living over here than it was over here. Uh, like I say, we got this one here. It just got through that insulation. Almost could get away with taping that up. But I think we'll do it all proper. And then I think what we need to do here is also open this up a little bit. Just to have a little gander, I think maybe just crack through the insulation on that blue wire there. So we'll have to fix that. Uh, I think before we get rustling around in here too much, like a little squirrel, we probably ought to vacuum out the uh, remains here. So yeah, looks like that wire, that wire. The cam sensor wires there, obviously. Uh, clean up the mess and boom, she's out of here. Oh, and then that vacuum hose that we need. Well, that's it for now, folks. I uh, got everything ordered from Toyota. Got three wires for that one, two wires for that one, a couple of the plastic grommets that go in the fender liner, the new air filter, the piece of vacuum hose is just bulk tubing, so we're going to use that out of our own. And then we're going to throw this little guy back together tomorrow.